Today's news are, recruits exposed personal information about Jimin. Jonggook's personal diary leaked online without permission. Hybe receives backlash. Jin exposes the dark side of K-pop and more BTS news. In a recent development on January 18th, the internet was abuzz with the news that Jimin had been recognized as the top trainee in his unit during a five-week training period. This commendation came directly from the commander of his division, acknowledging Jimin's dedication and effort. He earned this distinction by achieving the highest scores in various assessments throughout the training and even represented his fellow trainees in the oath-taking ceremony. This news quickly caught the attention of both domestic and international media, including TV news channels and online publications. The story resonated widely, drawing commendations from both fans and the general public. Notably, one of the earliest articles on this subject quickly climbed to the top of the trending list on Naver, a popular online platform where it remained as the most viewed article for over two hours. The significant interest in this news led Naver to create a dedicated section on its main news page to cover Jimin's accomplishment. However, Jimin's recognition for his performance in training isn't the only aspect garnering attention. Several fellow Army recruits who were part of the same unit have shared their personal experiences of training with Jimin. They have expressed their gratitude towards him for his assistance in improving their own rankings, his generosity in offering his phone time to others, and for treating them to meals. A family member of one of these recruits shared a particularly touching account, stating, My brother consistently mentioned how Jimin was always there to lend a hand to those in need. He often bought extra food for him at the convenience store, and sacrificed his own phone time so his peers could connect with their families. Thanks to Jimin's support, my younger brother graduated among the top 10 in his class. Our family personally thanked Jimin and his parents for their kindness. Meeting Jimin in person, I found him to be not only amusing, but also handsome and incredibly warm-hearted. Other parents expressed similar sentiments of gratitude towards him, which seemed to deeply move Jimin. Apart from his kindness and humility, Jimin is also being lauded for his exemplary performance in the military, earning admiration from other South Korean men who have completed their mandatory service. One individual recounted how her husband's perception of Jimin shifted dramatically upon learning of his achievements, especially when he discovered that Jimin was awarded a five-day four-night vacation as a reward for his outstanding performance. Moreover, Jimin's striking appearance has not gone unnoticed. Many recruits have commented on his exceptional skin and even his prowess in sports. One recruit humorously noted his hesitation to ask Jimin about his skincare routine, citing Jimin's bright and intimidatingly good looks. The recruit also pointed out Jimin's athletic abilities, leaving a lasting impression. On the 16th of January, V successfully completed his five-week basic military training, having entered the Nansan Training Center on December 11th. His outstanding performance during this period led to his recognition as one of the top six trainees among 200 recruits. Two days later, on January 18th, Fai was seen traveling by train to the Jonghengyo Bridge, heading towards the Army General Administration School. Fully clad in his military uniform, he was carrying a black backpack on his shoulder and a large military bag in his hands. Having chosen to be part of the special unit known as the Special Task Force of the Capital Defense Command, or the Special Duty Team, V is required to undertake an additional three weeks of training at the Army General Administration School before joining his designated unit. This training facility is noted for its outstanding condition, boasting excellent amenities and ample space. The Army Comprehensive Administration School is renowned for its role in developing military professionals who are not only proficient in combat, but also exhibit strong leadership qualities. A former member of the special duty team shared in a blog post that the specialized SDT training is notoriously challenging, to the extent that some trainees choose to withdraw due to its rigor. The training involves extended physical sessions that often continue late into the night, contributing to its demanding nature. During this phase, V will undergo various forms of training, including automatic target live ammunition firing, repelling, preliminary rifle instruction, PRI, close quarters battle, CQB, military police duties, and several other disciplines, all under the guidance of experts from various military branches, including the Navy, Army, Marine Corps, and Air Force. Despite the increased challenges in his training, V is expected to enjoy more freedom and benefits at this facility compared to the Nansan Training Center. 
The trainees are granted leisure time, including access to the PX and television. They are also allowed phone usage for three hours on weekdays and up to 12 hours on weekends. Moreover, the center is known for providing quality food to its trainees. In a show of support, V's Korean fans put up banners along the route to his new training camp as he departed the Nonsan Army Training Center. These banners carried congratulatory messages for V and his unit on completing their basic training, along with heartfelt expressions of loyalty and love, with phrases like, V, we vow lifelong loyalty to you. BTS, recognized globally as one of the leading musical groups, has consistently been in the spotlight, especially since the members commenced their mandatory military service. Initially, these now world-renowned artists were seven aspiring trainees at Big Hit Entertainment, which is presently known as Big Hit Music. As one of the first groups under Big Hit Music, they developed a close working relationship with the company's founder and producer, Bang Shi Hyuk, also referred to as Hitman Bang. Over the years, BTS has often shared their close bond with Bang Shi Hyuk, who has been the subject of their lighthearted teasing and impersonations. In the early stages of their career, BTS had the unique chance to express their concerns directly to Bang Shi Hyuk on a variety show. A notable incident involved BTS's V who humorously recounted an interaction with Bang Shi-hyuk during his trainee days. He described a moment when he and RM, the group's leader, were heading to a convenience store after a monthly evaluation and encountered Bang Shi-hyuk. To their surprise, Bang Shi-hyuk, up on seeing them, inquired, who is that next to RM? Not recognizing V. This incident, as V explained, continued for about a year. During the variety show, V took the opportunity to jestingly confront Bang Shi-hyuk, reminding him to remember his name, simply one letter, V. The members of BTS maintain a strong relationship with Bang Shi Hyuk to this day. The Hype founder has recently been commended for his consideration of BTS's mental health, as highlighted in a clip from their new documentary. BTS's Jin recently engaged in a discussion that has sparked widespread conversation among fans about the increasingly younger ages at which K-pop idols are debuting. This discussion was initiated by a fan's comment about her struggles to enter the K-pop industry. Despite being only 17 or 18 years old, born in 2003, she has faced rejections from various K-pop companies, who suggest she is attempting to enter the industry too late. Historically, during the third and early fourth generations of K-pop, debuting at a slightly older age was not uncommon. Many successful K-pop idols who are still active today, such as Red Velvet's Irene, Wendy, Mamamoo's Solar, and even BTS's own Suga, J-Hope, and Jin began their careers between the ages of 1921. Notably, Irene made her debut at 23. However, the industry is witnessing a trend where idols are debuting at much younger ages. This trend isn't isolated. Many other members of rookie groups were born in 2004 or 2005, indicating that they started their training in their early teens or even earlier. Controversy has arisen regarding the young ages of trainees in certain groups, such as P Nation's upcoming boy group, with a member born in 2009, only 12 years old during the show. Similarly, contestants on the competition show My Teenage Girl were as young as 10, 12 years old. Universe Ticket's announcement of the group Eunice, including a 12-year-old member, so on, and two 14-year-olds, has further fueled this debate. Jin's response to the fans' comment highlighted his view on the decreasing age of trainees and debutantes in K-pop. He mentioned that he entered the industry at 20, but observed that children nowadays are starting much younger. His remarks have led to a broader discussion among fans, voicing concerns about the implications of debuting at such young ages. Fans have expressed worries about the lack of real-world experience for these young idols, the potential for exploitation, and the deprivation of a normal childhood. The debate includes concerns about the mental and physical impact of rigorous training and dieting on young bodies, as well as the hindrance to personal growth, citing examples like Taemin's struggles and Jungkook's identity as BTS's Jungkook overshadowing his personal development. There is a consensus among fans that the industry's trend of debuting younger idols, whether for extending their prime years or appealing to younger audiences, needs reconsideration. Fans argue that changes are necessary to prevent the exploitation of young aspirants pursuing their dreams in the K-pop industry. On January 20th, an incident involving BTS's Jungkook has stirred concern among his fans. A social media user shared information about a supposed leak of Jungkook's military service diary. This leak allegedly came from a senior member of his unit on Instagram. 
Jungkook had joined the mandatory military service on December 12th, alongside fellow bandmate Jimin. In South Korea, military service is a requirement for all able-bodied men, lasting over 18 months and varying according to the assigned department. The revelation of this leak led to an immediate reaction from fans on social media. Concerns about Jungkook's privacy during his military service were raised. One fan expressed their previous apprehensions about such a situation, insisting on the seriousness of the matter. According to the netizen, a close friend from South Korea had informed them about the leak. It was mentioned that Jungkook's military service diary, which is not meant for public viewing, was reportedly supposed to be uploaded only to a Korean military service platform. The senior, having allegedly shared this diary on his Instagram account without permission, was reported to be facing arrest and disciplinary action under military law. The user clarified that the diary was intended for a private military server and not for public access. Currently, there is no concrete information about whether the leaked diary was manipulated or if there was an intention to harm Jungkook. Following this incident, fans have taken to social media demanding strict punishment for the senior involved. Questions about the security and safety of the singer have also been raised. Many fans and observers are advocating against sharing military-related content about group members to safeguard their well-being. Amidst these concerns, there is a collective hope for Jungkook's safety, with many awaiting further updates on the situation. On January 20th, a Twitter user brought to light an interesting story about BTS's Jimin, shared originally by his cousin. This revelation, first posted on a Korean blog on Naver by a user in 2018, highlights Jimin's exceptional academic abilities during his middle school days at Busan Arts High School. Fans were intrigued to hear these insights directly from a family member of the singer. Jimin's cousin recounted that despite initially showing little interest in studying during his third grade in elementary school, Jimin astonishingly ranked second in the overall examinations in middle school. His proficiency in mathematics was so notable that he earned the nickname God of Mathematics and occasionally even took over teaching math classes. Furthermore, Jimin's cousin noted his deep empathy and compassion from a young age. He would often encounter people facing hardships and resonate with their struggles. One instance shared by his cousin involved Jimin noticing a middle-aged man collecting boxes. Understanding the man's hardships, Jimin bought him hot soup and rice and generously gave him 10,000 KRW from his own pocket money. Additionally, unlike many parents, Jimin's didn't worry about his academic performance, even with his training as an idol. Jimin managed to excel in both his studies and extracurricular activities, serving as class president and valedictorian. Around the time Jimin started middle school, he was 15 or 16 years old and had just begun his trainee period with Big Hit Entertainment. Fans have been deeply moved by these heartfelt stories from his middle school days. In another act of generosity, BTS's Park Jimin was in the news for donating 30 million, one to his alma mater, Busan Art High School. Reported by Busan Ilbo on November 2nd, this contribution has significantly helped students facing challenges in acquiring education. Moreover, on August 25th, Jimin's father visited the Nam District office in Busan, donating 5 million Korean won worth of ramen boxes in honor of his son. The district office disclosed that these groceries were intended to assist low-income families with limited food resources. On January 21st, a post on NBC's Twitter account showcased a photo of New Jeans Minji as she was departing Incheon International Airport to attend the Paris Fashion Week. However, Korean netizens quickly noticed a hidden reference to kalguksu, a popular Korean noodle dish, cleverly embedded in the caption through an acrostic poem. This reference to kalguksu was particularly notable because Minji had previously apologized for an incident during an appearance on webtoon artist Lee Malnian's YouTube channel in January 2023. In that incident, she mentioned not knowing what kalguksu was, leading to some criticism. She explained that she was a picky eater and had never tried the dish which some perceived as an attempt to maintain her idol image. The caption on NBC's post did not sit well with many, causing the issue to become a heated topic on the coup. Fans, both Korean and international, voiced their displeasure and called for apologies from the article's writer, Go Dae-hyun, and from NBC. The recent incident involving Korean news outlet and broadcaster NBC has sparked significant controversy. The issue arose from a journalist at NBC, Go Dae-hyun, who posted an article about New Jeans Minji at the airport, incorporating references to a previous controversy involving the idol. Minji had previously been embroiled in what became known as the Kalguksu controversy. 
This situation developed after she mentioned not knowing what kalguksu, a popular Korean noodle dish, was. Following this incident, she faced criticism and was accused of exhibiting a fake concept and having an attitude problem, which led to her having to issue an apology. In the controversial article, journalist Go Dae-hyun subtly embedded the word kalguksu in the titles using acrostic poetry. He used phrases that, while translating to seemingly innocuous descriptions like processing her boarding the international flight right on time, were actually crafted to hint at the controversy. The unusual choice of words and phrasing in the article raised suspicions among fans about the journalist's intentions. This action by Go De Hyun and MBC resulted in a strong backlash from netizens who expressed their anger online towards both the journalist and the news outlet. In response to this uproar, MBC issued an apology on January 22nd. In their statement, IMBC acknowledged the importance of respecting artists' intellectual properties. They admitted that the title of their recent photo article about new genes had caused controversy and had been promptly removed. Despite this, they extended their apologies to the artists and the company affected by the article. IMBC also assured that they would make concerted efforts to manage their content more carefully to prevent such incidents from occurring in the future. A recent online uproar has seen fans of the K-pop group TXT demanding action from their management company, HYBE. Fans are calling for the dismissal of a director associated with T alleging that the director's decisions are endangering the group members. On January 22nd, a post titled, Another Truck Was Sent to HYBE, gained significant attention. The post included several photographs of a protest truck parked outside HYBE's premises. The truck displayed messages criticizing the management and calling for the fearing of TXT's director. The messages accused the director of selecting choreography that looked at impact and harmony, branding them as unqualified due to their predictable choreography choices. The protesters emphasized their impatience, pointing out that they had been waiting for five years for an improvement that never came. They expressed a lack of interest in the director's personal development, urging immediate replacement instead. The post also highlighted that big hit, under which TXT operates, is unique in giving a non-experienced director full control over a group. Many netizens and fans echoed the concerns raised in the post. Some commented on the potential health risks the members face, suspecting that they might be suffering from injuries due to the strenuous choreography. Questions were raised about whether the director was responsible for creating or merely selecting the choreography. Others compared TXT to a junior version of 2PM and emphasized the importance of avoiding dangerous choreography. There was a consensus in support of the fans' demands. Concerns were raised about the excessive nature of the choreography, with some noting that it was both physically demanding and lacking in impact. The choreographer was criticized for not considering the health of the members, emphasizing that the artists are humans first and idols second. In a recent Weverse interview, Jung Jae Hoon, the director of BTS Suga's YouTube series, Suchuita, shared the intriguing backstory of singer IU's appearance on the show, which had pleasantly surprised fans worldwide. Jae Hoon revealed that IU's guest appearance stemmed from a promise she made after Suga appeared on her show. Palette. She had said she would feature on his show if his episode reached over 10 million views. However, due to Suga's impending military service, IU chose to appear on Suchuita before reaching the 10 million view milestone. This decision was driven by a desire to provide something special for the fan bases of BTS and IU respectively. Despite her busy schedule filming a drama, IU managed to make time for the show. Suga, equally occupied with enlistment preparations, also made a concerted effort to accommodate this special episode for their fans. Regarding the interaction between the two artists, who were both born in 1993, Jae Hoon expressed his contentment with the friendly banter they shared. He highlighted their previous collaborations, including on People Part 2, Feet IU, and a live clip for a documentary, which facilitated their comfortable rapport on set. Despite the playful bickering, there was an evident mutual respect for each other's music. Jae Hoon mentioned that he set the overall direction for the episode, but the artist's friendship allowed them to naturally steer the conversation. He was particularly amused to learn about Suga's collaboration with RM on 8, which was a new revelation even to him. When asked about the preparations for IU's episode, Jae Hoon shared that the focus was on exploring IU's musical journey, which has significantly impacted the K-pop industry. The conversation naturally gravitated towards music, a shared passion between Suga and IU. The episode aimed to highlight IU's career as a musician, incorporating many of her songs during the editing process. 
The team also meticulously selected videos from IU's channel that aligned well with her comments during the show, ensuring that 